Hello everyone, beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Anchorage, Alaska. We've got about 65 plus degrees, a little bit slight of wind. We're on the uh, south side of Anchorage, Alaska. This is the diamond area. Our first diamond tour for this summer, 2022. <coughs> We're not gonna show you guys a lot of the stores right here. You guys all know what most of these are. This, is, this used to be where the old car meet used to be at. But today we're going to explore the uh, Saturday market, the weekend market. Back then the weekend market used to be on the, uh, used to be on the, uh, in downtown. And then they moved it on this side of town here. I'm going to go on the other side right actually. The weekend mall is just right behind the diamond mall. Uh, let's beat this light, let's beat this light, three seconds. Are we in sport mode? <laughs> oh okay so right here is the dime mall we got walmart right here let's go check it out real quick man we got a lot of boondockers look at all these rvs this is the south side walmart a lot of people that parked right here right now they're just parked here for the uh saturday market the weekend market so this is my first first year checking out the weekend market see what they have I got my scooter so I'm not gonna be able to really tour the uh, the market because the market's more of a uh, the market's more of a foot traffic so you don't want to be riding your scooter when there's tons of people here I got a bunch of my shirt real quick we got the uh, Anchorage Hotel A little bit of everything just gotta watch out for traffic lots of foot lots of traffic this is the diamond mall right here biggest mall in alaska biggest mall in anchorage <laughs> look at this man wow they got a lot of stuff going on all right we got to turn down the sport mode or else we're gonna be oh it's freaking loaded i'm just looking through the aisles right now it's freaking loaded man all right we're gonna walk the scooter actually here's all the rides they didn't they didn't have rides when it was in downtown food court section over here is packed yeah, the whole aisle is like loaded with people, so I'm not gonna try to go through it. We'll go through here real quick though. We'll walk the scooter. Walk the scooter just to be uh, respectful. <coughs> so a lot of local artists. Local artists. local artists uh gifts and stuff like that more for tourists and stuff like that so this section is not so packed but on the other aisle that's the food aisle so it's all packed over there we'll come back out here next time and be on foot and we're actually good if you guys like a full tour Here's the food aisle right here. It smells good. It smells like the carnival. Stay for your carnival. This is behind the scenes of all the rides over here. All the rides. All the kiddos. Beautiful day to come out and have fun. Take a photo. We'll come back out here next time on uh, Be On Foot, foot Traffic and give you guys a full tour. Today is just a uh, quick ride. Let's go explore the rest of Diamond Mall. I don't recommend you guys ride your e-scooter out here unless you guys are trained. It's very, very lots of traffic out here, so you gotta be careful. 
There's foot traffic, there's human traffic, car traffic. Just gotta be very careful. I would say that I'm a, I'm a pro scooter rider now. Not super pro, but also my, uh, my motorcycle skills help me I felt like my tire is getting flat again. Yeah, you gotta be uh, aware of your surroundings if you wanna ride your scooter fast out here. You don't wanna get a car pull out in front of you. Let me check my tire real quick. Yeah, I couldn't use some air, but we'll find air later. It's a big cushion. This is the best buy. This is the front of best, uh, the front of the diamond mall. Look at that Jeep here, man. No doors. How do you feel safe driving that around town here? Oh, this is the place where I got my e-scooter from last year. Uh, Best Buy. I don't know if they still carry it, though. The mall is pretty packed today. I wonder how far we should go explore today. Let's see. We'll go all the way. I think we're gonna go check. We'll go all the way down to Burlington, I think. That's how far we'll go. I wish I could ride my scooter in the mall. That would be super awesome. Maybe I'll have to come early and when there's nobody and then just do a quick zip through. But they got the Olive Garden. They got some big chain restaurants here as well. Uh, Dave and Buster is another good attraction. Let me let this car pass. Go. That's a little bit of Diamond Mall right there. Let's go, uh, let's go towards that way. We'll explore across the street when we come back. Last year when we explored Diamond with a uh, bike, when I was riding my bike, this sidewalk was super bumpy, so it's gonna be really bad on the scooter, but we'll make the best out of it. And I already showed you guys this. We already made a tour last year already with um, Exploring Diamond, so. Uh, <coughs> nothing really new. They just got some traffic going on on the main highway, the sewer highway right there. But for the most part, there's no new construction, nothing like that. It is the uh, oh, shopping capital. A lot of people come here and shop. Uh, let's cross too. What's back over here? I want to see what's back over here. Apartments back here, some fishing stuff. We got some residential back here too. I, did, I never knew about that. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, let me go find some air for my tire because I can feel the I can feel the scooter is a bit slow and not as nimble. Costco, Costco, Costco! Man, a lot of shoppers today.
gas price is what is it the gas price nowadays where gas price is definitely over a little bit over five it's five bucks for sure that's all i know costco might have it for like five three last time we were in costco it was super packed here i don't even want to tour this parking lot it's so packed out here somebody's milkshake Zip, 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 zip. Uh, this parking is really bad. I don't want to ride out here. Let's get out of here. You guys all know Costco already. Something special out here in Costco. Say hello to my best friend. Say hello. Oh, there's a breakaway. Can't go this way now. Yeah, they got a lot of construction. Uh, let's go find a way around. I don't think there's a way around here. It's the C Street over here. Oil changes. Yeah, this whole sidewalk is messed up, so we're gonna have to cross one way or the other. Can't get to the road right here. Make a way back and cross the street. So we're gonna have to get back on the street lights. Too much traffic. Gotta cut through here. Damn, this RV is towing this truck, 150, woo! That's crazy. They're not from here, they're from New York. Wow, welcome to Alaska, guys. All the way from New York. Welcome to Alaska, you guys are across from the country. Ugh. Let's go this way. All right, we're not gonna go towards over there, towards our burn tent. Too much nasty traffic. go back this way for a little bit yeah we're not gonna go all the way over there it's too much uh destruction let's go check it out uh we'll check out some of the stores over here real quick show you guys a little of that and then we'll go ahead and backtrack there's a lot of moms and pop stores this is rainy plaza they got some uh, residential back here too. <laughs> I never been back here. Let's go check it out real quick. Residential. Oh, look at that. Damn, that's a coma. That's been sitting there forever. I don't gotta go ask that. I just saw a uh, second gen Tacoma that looks like it's been sitting there forever. Oh, it's at the dead end over here. There's a park right here. Interesting. Interesting. All right, make our way back. Hello. Save gas. Ride an e-scooter, Land Cruiser. Look at that. Nice, hundred series. I've been seeing a lot of hundred series Land Cruiser. They look beautiful. What is this place here? Uh, home place right here. Hot tub. Get yourself a nice hot tub for your home. That yellow Jeep right there reminds me of uh, Matt's off-road recovery on YouTube. <laughs> I don't really watch his channel, but when I do, uh, but I have watched some of his videos before. Food Diamond, I ate here before. They got some pretty good stuff. They got their doors open, but the open sign is off. So they're open. They got food over here. They got some uh, tags and titles pool tabs they got a salon restaurant st coyote that must be mexican restaurant i'm assuming yeah they got a little bit of everything here arm armed force career center 
Davis MD, nail shop, every strip mall you got, every strip mall you find there's always a nail and there's always a salon, man. You gotta have two of those things to make it a strip mall. <laughs> and a faux. Every strip mall needs a faux stop, faux stop. Okay, let's go check it out, man. 425, 61 degrees according to that sign. Let's take the back row. What's back over here? Been a while since we've been on a scooter ride. I hope you guys are doing well. This right here used to be Red Robin, I believe. Yeah, yeah, this used to be Red Robin. So Red Robin shut down. I don't know what happened to them, <clears throat> but they shut down, which is interesting. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. A lot of commercial buildings down over here. And then in this strip mall here, we got another strip mall right here. This is Diamond and King Street. King Street right here. Today's Nail. There used to be a faux stop right here too. I believe it's called the Royal Thai. Yeah, Royal Thai. I think they have faux there too. UPS store. Another nail store. Yeah, Royal Thai. So this is another good place. I believe I ate here before when I was younger. We are closed on Wednesday. Oh, you guys noticed something too? So last couple days when, we, when my wife and us we went to go eat pho, we found out that a lot of pho and restaurant stores were closed on the weekdays. And I, that was all new to me. I didn't know about that. Like uh, on a weekday during the afternoon, like we found Subway was closed. And let me know what's going on. Is, there because, is that because of a shortage? Shortage of workers or a shortage of food? But that was interesting. Okay, so that wasn't that wasn't Red Robin. Red Robin is open. Red Robin's over here. Let's go back over here. Yeah, I'll mix. that was La Mex restaurant, La Mexican Mexican restaurant. Yeah, the Red Robin on Diamond is open. It's over here. It's this one here. I was confused for a second. There it goes. Yeah, so this is the Red Robin here. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Red Robin. This place here used to be a sushi place and they shut down as well. I forgot what they were called. But man, look at all this potential here. Like all these, these are all good location. Um, well, in a way, in a way, because these are a good location, but the traffic is what mess up your business. Because the traffic, you can only access it from this road here. You can't turn in from that side. So if you're on that side of the highway, the street, you gotta get on a U-turn. So the traffic is what really messes up the uh, the business drive, you know? You can't drive people into your business easily. Unless they really, really want your food. So the burger shop here is still open. Ray Robin's still open as always. Dress store right here. Mm, we got a little bit of wind. It is the first few weeks of June. Got the cart store. We got Panda. Just Mary, that car says Just Mary. Congratulations. Congratulations. Got a Pet Smart, Bridals. Get your wedding outfit here. Mint Warehouse. This is a good strip as well. This is right across from the mall. So, not bad at all. And like I said, here's a nail shop. Every strip mall, you got a nail shop. Second Casa, another salon shop. What's over here? <coughs> yeah, Diamond is very popular on the weekends. A lot of people come to Diamond and just do shopping, do dinner, lunch, eat. 
Um, it's a great one-stop place to just come do your shopping. I remember when we were young kids, and my parents, we don't ever come to Diamond area unless we're coming out here to do shopping or whatever the case is. So it's a good, if you don't live in this side of town, it's a good place to come here and get all your errands done and whatever you need to get done. There's a pet zoo, so they got pet zoo and pet smart right next to each other. Or same strip. And then they got the new Raising Kings right here. This place just opened as well. This year. This year or last year, I believe. This gas station has gas for $5.79. Diesel is $5.89. Chevron and Shell um, in Anchorage here. They have the... Both of those companies have the most expensive gas the least expensive one the least expensive one i found is costco but that's if you're a member if you're not a member then you got to go to like holidays and expressway and all those other places this is the old sewer they got the sidewalks closed as well what the heck is going on hmm Well, we explored that side of town already on another video. Well, guess we'll go back over here to Diamond. We'll just go back to Diamond Mall. one-stop shop for shopping dinner entertainment you know the drill a little bit of everything i look i like diamond man it's a great place to come do things and again if you're a city person in anchorage this is pretty much all you have man there isn't much things to do in the city so if you don't like shopping if you don't like uh, going out if you don't like doing outdoors you're gonna be a boring person in the state of in city in the anchorage a lot of people are like, man, Anchorage is boring, Alaska is boring. And usually the case is because they're not really outdoorsy or they don't really go out too much and they just that's what find or that's what they find boring, you know. So Alaska is a great place if you know how to have fun with it. I'm not really a city person, I don't do a lot of shopping and all that stuff, so I find my enjoyment with the outdoors, with nature and stuff, you know. We'll go back over here and check it out. They got the Ferris wheel. Woo! I like that right here. That right is like a Ferris wheel, but instead it flips you around too. So you get a double flip. <laughs> I rolled that when I was a little kid. Man, I was scared for life. <laughs> so cute. I can hear all the kids yelling. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I need to bring my little, I need to bring Lincoln out here. Lincoln would enjoy this. Hello. Oh, my little boy would enjoy this so much. He loves the horse. Oh, look at all these kiddos. <laughs> it's so, it's so great being a father, you know, a dad. You know, when you see other kids and you can relate to that now, you know? Like when I see when I see parents with their kids having a fun time, I can relate to that, man. Like that's like a moment. You gotta cherish that. It's so awesome. Shout out to all the parents out there. Yeah, I gotta bring my boy out here. He'll love that. He might be scared of it actually. He's uh he's kinda scared of machinery at the moment. Like when we turn on the vacuum, the uh, carpet vacuum, stuff like that, he kind of has to get used to first. So we'll bring him out here and let him get used to all the noise and all the rides. And he'll probably love the horse rides. So maybe we'll come out next weekend or something. So uh, the, the market here is open uh, on weekends. I'm not sure what the hours are, but Saturday, Sunday, I think they usually close around 5 or 6 p.m. But they, they open early and stuff. 
Yeah, they open early. It's definitely worth checking out. It's like a, it's like a mini state fair. So if you're waiting for a state fair in Palmer, uh, you just come to the weekend market, man. It makes feels kind of like the state fair. And since they have the rides now, it makes it a plus because back then in downtown, when it was in downtown, they didn't have the rides. And I think that was because of the uh, space. They didn't have as much space as in Diamond. But the big downfall of them changing it to Diamond is that and when they had it in downtown, it was good because a lot of tourists, they stay in downtown, you know, that's where their hotels are and they can just walk to the uh, market. But now it's all the way in Diamond and I still see tourists. I saw a bunch of tourists at the, uh, at the uh, market here. So they're still making their way out here. But the market was one of the big attractions for downtown. That's what I'm trying to say. And now that they removed it, it's kind of like, eh. Uh oh, off-roading. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to go back across this side, and I'll show you guys a little bit on this side over here. Just missed the light. Here's the website, theanchoragemarkets.com. Okay, we're back on this side. <coughs> Ever since we've done the car meets in Tukatnu, I haven't checked out here lately and see how it's been. I don't know if people still come out here on the weekends. But... Yeah, we just swapped over to, uh, we moved it over to Cottonwood and so far it's been good. People really haven't complained. It's been a good turnout on the east side. But this is where it all originated from on the uh, this area right here. Well, it originated from Sears Mall too. Back when the Sears Mall was there, we used to do the car meets on the Northern Lights area. That was the spot. But now it's on this side and then it went to the east side now. So it was a midtown. It was midtown. And then it was south side, and now it's on the east side. They got a Texas Roadhouse all the way at this corner. And then Duloff Trading, never been to this place here. Before this place, they had a um, Sportsman Authority. And then this big uh, store here, it used to be Sam's Club, and now it's AIH, Alaska Industrial Hardware. Pretty cool store, I love it. A little bit more expensive compared to like Lowe's and Home Depot, but it's all local. Hey, what's up, man? Got a Sportsman's Warehouse down here. I haven't checked ammo lately. I know uh, the ammo inventory has been pretty good, but the price, not so much. A war-winning barbecue. This guy here has barbecue plates. Oh, there's a Land Cruiser. I've seen this Land Cruiser before. This is a Lexus 450 right here. Check it out. Damn, I like his setup. Same color as mine. Let me see. Um, let me see if he has any broken parts that he might need off of my cruiser. Very nice. It looks good. He doesn't look like he has any broken parts. Yep, looks in good shape. <laughs> There's the F-150 suited out. Got a Michaels. And another pet store on this side too. So damn, there's a Petco, a PetSmart, and a Pet Zoo. Wow, that's crazy. All on one side of town. It's crazy, despite the gas prices, all the high gas prices, this last month, I've been seeing so many Land Cruisers, uh, so many 80 series and 100 series on the road. I didn't see a lot of them during the winter time, but ever since summer started, I've been seeing a bunch of them out. So that tells me that gas, gas prices is not affecting us, or not affecting cruiser, because I just filled up my gas today and I was getting 11, uh, 11 miles per gallon. 
and that was mostly uh that was city highway that's mostly city 90 percent city so right now I'm, I'm averaging about 11 miles 10 miles a gallon all right so that's it for diamond so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up i hope you guys enjoy make sure you guys come out to diamond if you guys are looking for uh entertainment if you guys want to enjoy the weekend market it's open on saturdays and sunday i don't know the hours but you know just come during the you know typical hours you know eight to five o'clock and uh, it'll be open lots of rides carnival rides and food for the kiddos and especially with this kind of weather man the kids just loves it so we're gonna go and wrap it up for this video i hope you guys are all all doing well and i'll catch you guys on the next video talk to you guys then